All righty. Welcome back. Out of my mind. This is episode four. We're going to talk about the meaning of Christmas. So this, this episode is going to be a little different than what I've done previously and what I'm going to do in the future. I'm not, we're not going to talk politics. We're not going to talk sports. I'm not even going to try to be funny. This one is going to be a little more heartfelt, I guess, would be a word that you would use. But I think y'all will enjoy this. I think you'll want to stick around for this. I'm going to do something that I normally don't do. If you know me, I'm going to actually stay disciplined and talk about the two things that I want to talk about. There's a million things that I want to talk about. I want to talk about sports politics, stuff all like that, and I want to be funny. But I'm going to actually stay disciplined this time. Don't get used to it because it probably won't happen often. But I have two things that I want to get across to y'all. <clears throat> and I hope y'all enjoy it. So the first thing I want to say is I appreciate the love that I've been getting. Um, I mean, we're, I mean, this is not crazy. I'm not barstool sports. I'm not all this stuff, but I mean, I'm getting a few views and it's all my people. It's y'all tuning in. And some of y'all may just tune in to laugh and say, what an idiot. Uh, now we have some blackmail on Beckley because he's a moron, but when I get texts from some of y'all, Snapchats, Instagram messages saying, Hey, when's the next, when's the next pod? When's the next pod? Can't wait for it. What are you going to talk about? That's what keeps me going. If only one person watches this, if me doing this is what gets that person through the day, I'm here for it. I'll do it. It is worth my time. I do this for free. I'm not making any money off of this. I do it because I enjoy it, and I think that enough people that I care about enjoy it, and I'll keep doing it. I'll go all day long. Um, it's also not easy. I don't know how these people who do this for a living, I don't know how they keep coming up with content, because this is not easy. So that, I love y'all. I appreciate the support, appreciate the love, and I'll do it until literally nobody watches. I'll keep going. That being said, we are in the Christmas season. Obviously, Christmas is in, what, a week? Um, I think in the year 2020, everybody, it, it's been a rough year. COVID, all this stuff, the elections, all this stuff. It's been a crazy year. Everybody's looking forward to the new year. Because for some reason, people think that a calendar changes things. That automatically on January 1, everything resets. That's not how it works. Y'all know that. You're intelligent. 2021 could be a worse year. I mean, who knows? But everybody's fast forwarding already. Let's just get to 2021 and call it a day. And act like 2020 never happened. That's not how it works. And also, in fast forwarding through that, you are missing the greatest thing ever. Christmas is an amazing time of year for a number of reasons. I will start out by saying this. Christmas is the celebration of of the birth of Jesus Christ. The greatest gift that has ever been given. Better than your PS5. Better than my Costa sunglasses. Better than your new Tesla. Better than what There is no greater gift. God gave his only son to us. Brought him to earth. Born of a virgin. In a lowly stable in Bethlehem. God gave us the greatest gift that could ever be given. 
And that's what we're celebrating. That's what it's all about. To quote the cliche, Jesus is the reason for the season. And that's important. There is, I mean, there's just not, I mean, imagine. I say imagine because this is not, it's not fathomable. You have to be way out here. You have to be out in left field with no mitt to understand this or think you understand it. But let's say you're a parent, you have one kid, you have one child, and he's the bee's knees. And somebody that you don't, I mean, some random stranger, let's say, they're about to lose everything. And the only answer is you sacrifice your kid. Your one kid, you sacrifice them. And you do it because, you know, that person's life matters. That is what our Heavenly Father did for us. He gave us Jesus. And this is the Christmas message and the Easter message wrapped all into one. But that is what it's about. That's what this season is about. It's about giving. That's why we give gifts. Because... Our Father in Heaven gave us the best gift you could ever have. So that's what this is all about. Jesus is the reason for the season. Granted, there are some of y'all watching this that aren't believers, and that's okay. There's still big meanings in Christmas. Let's take out, well, you can't take Christ out of it. It's literally Christmas. But let's say you're, you don't care about that. Still slow down. Slow down. Enjoy the time with your family. Christmas is about that too. It is about setting aside everything. The chaos of the world. Everything that's going on. Enjoy time with your family. I know in 2020... It's kind of people are basically going to do the Michael, the Michael Scott quote from the office. Happy birthday, Jesus. Sorry, your party sucks. And I get that. But there are things to look forward to. There are positive things that we can focus on. Think about, you may, you may be 35 years old. You've got a wife, kids, a life of your own. I my challenge to you is look back on those memories that you had as a kid growing up with your family. Your maybe it was your your Christmas trip you went on, you know, your your vacation, um maybe it is a song in your head that you think about you know, maybe it's oh that one gift you really 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 really, really wanted and your parents are like, "Ah, oh, we don't I'm not sure we had the money for that. And then your parents sacrificed and got you what you wanted. Think back on those times. I have very, very vivid memories that revolve around the Christmas season with my family. Some of them at the time, it was like, this is the worst thing ever. And now I look, I mean, I can remember growing up, I mean, I was, you know, um, six, seven, eight, nine years old. And you've got a family of six people, mom, dad, and then four kids. And we're packed into, you know, this minivan, making the trip down to Atlanta to see dad's side of the family. You got the, you got the luggage, you know, you got the uh, escargot, the luggage um, rack on top, you're packed in there. You know, I'm sitting next to my brother, who at the time, we hated each other. I, it, 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 all we cared about was annoying the crap out of each other. That's all we cared about. How can I piss Nathan off? <laughs> and how can he piss me off? But I look back, and that, those are some of the best memories I have. You know, I my biggest thing for me, 
And again, I, I challenge y'all to focus on this and find this memory. I, for me, it was music with my dad. I have vivid, vivid memories. My favorite Christmas songs are Bob Dylan songs that had nothing to do with Christmas. But I can remember on those road trips, you know, we're, if we're driving through the middle of the night, the whole car is asleep, but I'm awake and dad's awake because he's driving. And, you know, John Denver is playing. Bob Dylan's on the, on, you know, we had a six CD changer in the Oldsmobile silhouette and we were big deal. So you had the Bob Dylan record in, you had Simon and Garfunkel, John Denver, then you had probably two Mannheim Steamroller Christmas records in there. And I, th that's what I remember. There are certain songs that I could hear today and be like, I feel like I'm in the van headed to Atlanta for Christmas. Another memory, almost every, every Christmas, it, within two weeks of Christmas, my mom and I watch White Christmas together. Bing Crosby, incredible movie. We usually watch It's a Wonderful, Wonderful Life as well, but White Christmas is the go-to. We have to watch it together every Christmas season. Find those memories, focus in on those, and relive them. Because, yeah, 2020 has sucked. But find those happy moments. I'll tell another story. <laughs> <clears throat> Nate, when you watch this, you'll appreciate this. I was going into, I, I want to believe I was, a, maybe I was a freshman. I think I was a freshman. And I had previously had a pair of all white Jordan 21s. To this day, my second favorite pair of Jordans. The 10s are number one, and then this is the 21s. Had a pair of all-white 21s. Uh, wore the heck out of them. Played ball in them. Hooped in them. You know, did all that. Destroyed them. I was at my aunt's house, and we were looking through an old photo album, and I found a picture of me in those shoes. And I looked at Nathan, and I said, man, that's my favorite pair of shoes I've ever had. Well, Nate being the guy that he is, Logged that mentally. Christmas comes up. He had found a way to buy another pair of them. And for those of y'all who don't know my brother, not a big guy on gift wrapping. He'll give it to you in the bag that he carried it out of the store in. So, and he'll hide it around the house. And when it's time for him to give his gift, oh, let me go grab your gift. I love it. Legendary. He walks into his room. So oh, let me go get your gift, Jake. Walks into his room. Comes back out. Tosses me a pair of, uh, or like three pair of Jordan socks. And I'm hyped. I'm like, oh, heck yeah, here we go. Love this. Little sly Nate has the 21s on his feet. As I'm freaking out about the socks, he pulls the 21s off his feet and says, I thought you could wear those with these. Tosses me the shoes. You want to talk about a whole meltdown. Your boy freaked out. I mean, he just gave me my favorite pair of shoes ever. Like it was nothing. Just like, oh yeah, I thought. Here you go. Our family talks about it all the time. Legendary. One of my favorite Christmas memories. And I still don't even like Nate that much. Anytime I'm like, oh man, screw Nate. I'm like, hey, those 21s though, the boy hooked me up. All that coming around. Focus in on those things. It is a time of year. 2020 has been crazy. Unfortunately, it doesn't reset at 2021. But I challenge you, sit back, enjoy the holiday. Enjoy Christmas. Remember that we received the best gift we can ever give, we can ever get. 
in Jesus Christ. That's what it all comes down to. But, he, but even if you take that out, family is everything. Friends are everything. Take the time. Forget about running around the mall with your mask on, trying to buy, oh, I got to get this, this last second present. Just hang out with your friends. Hang out with your family and enjoy it. Enjoy it. That, I mean, that that's really all there is to it. So, again, I, I appreciate everybody who's watching this. Um, it will, as I said, it will get better. But I just wanted to deliver that message. You know, this is the time to really gather yourself, be with your friends and family. It means everything. And I will be releasing on this. This will come out a couple of days before Christmas. But on Christmas Day, I will do an Instagram live. And I'll probably post a YouTube. I will read uh, the Christmas story from the Bible. So anybody who wants to join in for that, you're more than welcome. Again, just it's it's a it's been a crazy year, but this is a special time. Embrace it and enjoy it. That being said, go to the YouTube channel, like, subscribe, comment. Same on the Instagram page, Out of Beckley's Mind. Um, we're going to see where this goes. Hoping it blows up. But like I said earlier, if one person watches and it helps them, I'll keep doing it. Love y'all. Hope you have a good one. And we'll see you soon.